First of all, I saw <laughs> Richard Cummings today. Who? Richard Cummings. What? Richard Cummings? <laughs> Richard is good. He's good. He says, he playing? He's playing. He's playing. He says hi. And he asked me to tell you not to say anything bad about him. <laughs> not possible. Um, I sometimes talk to people. I say, listen, don't look for ha happiness. You know, don't try to be happy. That's ridiculous. Happiness is a state that can be changed at any time. If this ceiling caved in right now, I wouldn't be happy. <laughs> yeah? But the joy of my life and what I do can't ever change. It can't ever change. You know, right, right. You know I'll fix up my bruises if something happens to me, but then I'll go right back to what I was doing because what I'm doing is good. It's great. Right. It's right. great. And that's, that's, that's the place of happiness. Yeah, right? that's, that's where you, you need to place your soul. Well, it's really, it's really, really sweet to be so, so how, how passionate he was about everything he's done and uh, everything that we've done with you and, and how much we learned, you know, and, and uh, I remember, I remember when I first met you, how much information there was from music and from guitar players that I never had access to it, you know. And uh, how how did that happen for you? How well, how did that? I think for the purposes of your story, uh, you were very pivotal to the fulfillment of a set of goals that I had set for myself about what I wanted to do. Because at the beginning of my interest in the arts, singing was not my main uh, objective. Uh, I wanted to be an actor, and I studied diligently to to know all the aspects of theater that I felt that I felt were necessary to help me launch a career uh, in the theater. Uh, my classmates were, were high-powered uh, artists: Marlon Brando, Walter Matthau, Rod Steiger, B. Arthur. Uh, I can go on and on. Tony Curtis, all of us were in the same class together at the same time. Most of the men, including B. Arthur as a woman, uh, had served in the armed forces. And when we came out and looking for what we wanted to do in the world, the theater attracted me uh, to uh, the idea of how best to use my life. Uh, the teachers that I had were very exacting and they were deeply rooted in the art of the arts. Mm -hmm. Not just in the popularity of the arts, not just in the glamour of the arts, not just in issues that would lead you, like many of us hoped, to stardom. It had, it had purpose. Right. And the purpose was to use your platform as an artist to shine a light on our humanity. And, uh, Nobody could do that better than artists.